Hi and welcome to uh, our quick overview of SAP Business One version for HANA Interactive Analysis. We often get asked uh, by customers, can I write my own pivot tables, my own reports in SAP Business One? And the answer obviously is yes, you can. SAP has given us a number of tools over the years to help customers write their own reports, including things like the ability to hover over a field and look at the view information side of things and get the table name and the field name to help you write your own reports. But very often the people that want to write reports are not technical by nature and don't have access to SQL skills or specific report writing skills. And what we want to be able to do as non-technical users is write our own fairly basic reports in SAP Business One by dragging across the information we want in a pivot table type format. So what I'm going to show you today is SAP Business One version for HANA interactive analysis. And the team at Leverage thinks this is ideal for customers wanting to write some of their own reports uh, by dragging and dropping information into a pivot table format. So let's have a look at this. What we're looking at right now is uh, the SAP Business One version for HANA cockpit and what we see in front of us is various KPIs, dashboards, and widgets, and workflow processes. Let's now click on the menu structure on the left-hand side, and I can see our interactive analysis appears on that menu structure. Along with, if I just scroll up, I can see, obviously, my typical SAP Business One menu structure. Now, under the interactive analysis, I've had access to budget analysis, cost center analysis, cost accounting, sales opportunity analysis, and sales revenue analysis. For the purposes of this demonstration, let's go in and choose the sales revenue analysis cube. I can see that the Excel button is now activated. Let's click on Microsoft Excel. Now on the right hand side, I can see the pivot chart fields. SAP in SAP Business One version for HANA have pre-designed for us certain cubes. So let's go in and have a look at some of this information and we'll put it onto the report nice and easily. Let's go down and have a look. What we might want to do is let's say we want to start with a simple report that says let's look at sales employee and how much each sales employee has sold. So as I clicked on sales employee, we can see on the left hand side, Bill, Brad, Jim, Sales Manager and Sophie, um, their names have appeared. We want to see our revenue in local currency. And there's our report. The salesperson and how much they've sold. And we can see that the sales manager has sold the most, followed by Jim, then Brad, then Sophie and Bill. So we have the basis of our report. Let's now say that we want to also into our report, we want to also have a look at some um, financial periods as an example. So let's pull in calendar year, but we want the calendar year to be a filter. So we simply drag calendar year over to the filter. And now what I can see up the top left hand side of my pivot table, if I want, I could now go in and I can filter if I so wish just by a particular financial year. So let's just go in and look at the last 2013, 2014 and 2015 and change the report. Now we can see that Brad, in fact, is leading the sales. Now what we want to do, let's, let's pull in some additional information. We also want some information associated with items. So I've clicked on the items and now I can see the sales by salesperson by item. Or if I want to reverse that around and I want to look at it by item by salesperson, I can turn the report around, okay, back to how I originally viewed it. Or let's say that I want to have a look at it by item, but I want to have salesperson as a filter. So take the salesperson and put that into the filter category. Now what I want to do is I want to have a look at the items just for one particular salesperson. I just want to see for Sophie Club to the report. Now I can see the report just for Sophie. So what we've seen there is an example of starting out with a report where we look by salesperson by revenue, then we filtered by financial year, then we brought in the items, then we swapped over the items by sales employee or sales employee by item report, two different views. 
And then we filtered by not only the financial year, but by the sales employee as well. Lots of other fields available for us. I just chose a few today, but you can see customers, customer hierarchies, for example, um, you know, revenue, gross profits, base, base amounts, document types, due dates, etc. Let's just minimize that back into our SAP Business 100. So I think this is a great reporting mechanism for people that want to write quick ad hoc reports predefined on those cubes which are available inside the interactive analysis and slice and dice that information. This is only one of several tools available inside SAP Business One version for HANA and the version you're seeing in front of you happens to be version 9.1. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget there are a number of other demonstrations and presentations available on the Leverage Tech YouTube page or on our website at leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.